Now let's see how to take input from the terminal. So far we have printed hello world, but uh, it is hard coding, which means inside the code we have inserted hard, hard coding. Let us say I want to print hello RBR, my name. Okay. So I, I don't want to type hello RBR directly into the code. I want to read the name, my name into the code from the terminal. That is, that is what I want. Okay. So let's see how to do that. We can use input. <coughs> now I can hold it. Go back. Now if you see that, again, again type input. Yeah, if you see that, it is showing that, see this is the advantage of IDE. When you are typing some inbuilt functions, it will give you some information about the function. For example, here it is showing that input is a function which is going to take some prompt as an argument. Okay, so what is argument? What are arguments? You don't know that as of now. For now, just uh, go with the flow. Later, I'll explain you once we go to the functions. Okay, now we can write input. Input, what is your name? Now, if I run this code, what is your name? You can see that what is your name is printed, but after that, there is cursor. Okay, which means the program has not ended it. If the program has ended, you will not see this cursor, right? Now this cursor is showing that you can type something. Let us say I am typing RBR. Okay, now program has ended. So this RBR is now replacing this entire input function. So how to how to visualize input function is this entire input followed by the prompt will be replaced by whatever you have entered in the terminal. In this case, this entire thing will be replaced by RBR, but we are not using it. We are not using it, right? See, if you want to see the difference between uh, print and input, let's go with print here. Let's replace input by print. Now, if you type print, what is your name and run it, Let's run it and see. Okay. So if you see this, if you write just print, your program is not showing a cursor after the what is your name. But in case of input, there was a cursor one which was there here asking for your input. Right. Now here it is not asking for your input. That is the difference between input and print. Now let us capture whatever we have got from input and let us try to print it. Okay. Let's try to do that. Let's try to print hello followed by input. What is your name? Now let us let us stop here and see. So let's give a space here after hello. So that there will be a space between name and hello. So now if you observe it, what you will be seeing is this. First you will be seeing the prompt input. What is your name? Now whatever name you have inputted, I mean whatever name you have provided, that name is going to be replaced. The, that this entire input is going to be replaced by that name. And you are going to see print hello followed by that name. Okay. Now let's run it and see you'll understand it. Now, what is your name? So let's type RBR. Now, if you observe it, it is showing hello RBR. Now, what has happened is this entire statement input what is your name has been replaced by RBR, and that is how we are getting hello RBR. Okay. Thank you.